Okay. I hope that everything is working. Yeah, fine. Sorry, I'm just having to wing this, but... Yep, yeah, so this is the lower bracket final for uh, the latest cup. I think it's cup 12. Uh, is diversity and power of retro. And you'll see the teams, diversity, karma, rev, PRM, rapids, Jesus, and poor playing with Ambi, Manasek, Pico, Ares, and Mambo. So, yeah, it's going to be a good game, hopefully. I don't actually know what the maps are. Uh, let's find out. Let's find out. I was late to join the server. Uh, <sighs> okay, so Newville, Tiger Town, and Breck. I'm not sure who's picked what actually, but here we go. So this is live now. Uh, looks like an A execute for diversity. Rev going towards the fountain. And Ares has made it into top uh, mayors already. And diversity sort of just slowed up a little bit on the A execute here. I am just trying to spot out the A player. And Rapids is moving into mid. He's already hit for uh, 1 HP. And he's just trying to spot out the A players. And Nanasek gets the first kill on Karma. And Rev is still trying to hold a little bit of map control towards the B site. Gets the second kill onto Jesus. And they've actually rotated towards the B side of the map. PRM's moved towards B anyway. And it's not going to do any damage to Ambic. Rev does get a kill on Pico though, and Mambo is actually going to rotate off of the A site and head towards B. Take this as a B rotation. Ares gets a kill onto Rapids in the liquor store. As there is a plant going down on the B site. Explosives and planted. Here comes the rot rotation from Mambo. Gets a kill. Rev now left in a 1v4. This is looking like first round going to power of retro. Uh, Rev not able to do anything. Mambo getting a couple of frags there to pick up the first round for poor. So nicely done by Power of Retro. Win. Rev the only person to actually pick up a kill on diversity. And uh, yeah, good start for Poor. So I think really diversity maybe need to speed things up a little for the second round. Like they're going to do exactly that. Karma's heading straight into Mayers to take the fight. And Nade has landed in the bottom Mayers to stop him taking that fight. So, early control for Power of Retro. Manasek again with the opening frag this round. Uh, Rapids, though, getting a kill onto Ambic. Ares is the quick reply onto Karma. He was in the middle, but he's got hit heavy. Rapids goes down as well. It's now a 2v4 for diversity. And Ares is wide peaked, time Jesus leaving Rev alone in a in a one v four. Let's get a kill onto Pico, but there's a lot of work to do. Ares is just gonna hold the cross.
from back bookstall. Manasek stopping the rotation, coming back, and Mambo's watching the cross as well. Rev's uh, trapped in this area of the map. He's going to have to get a frag, and he's going to be met by Manasek soon. He's no, he knows that there's going to be one watching the rotation. Yes, he is, Manasek. Win. Finishes off the round for Power of Retro. That's now 2-0 for them. Okay, so 2-0 then, for Power of Retro. Again with the early nades from Power of Retro, good early nades to stop the A push instantly and to gain that little bit of map control, but it doesn't look like it does. Pumping into Rapids and Juice. Taking a bit of damage from the nades, I am not able to reply, Mambo with a quick 2k to start the round off. Nicely done by him. And Pico's been spotting out on the B site. PRM does get Mambo down, eventually. He's going to move on to the A site, he has spotted out a player from the A tank. But Diversity have managed to get onto the site, they need a kill now to even things up. They know where uh, the hit is. Manasek kills Rev. And their uh, rotation has already come from Power of Retro. Ambik has spotted out uh, a player going into two, two uh, bushes. And his Rapids, Rapids kills Ares, but he's now going to go for the frag onto Ambik as well. He does get another kill as well, so it's now a 2v2. Nicely done by Manasek to save the round though, and it's now just Rapids left with one HP against two people. Can't see a way around this. He's managed to move onto the site. As well. no, nice win. to know by Manasek. Well saved by Manasek, so it's now 3 0. Manasek yet to die, actually. Uh, really good start for Poor. The early nades are really good for uh, Power Retro. They're doing uh, quite a lot of damage. Diversity would almost be better to either just hit the B site, I think, or. Um, just slow it down at the start of the round and then hit together with nades. Use the utility smart. I mean, Aris is getting into mails every, every round. Karma, though. Kills Ambic. Good start to the round for diversity. Mana set, though, again. Such a Anchor on the A site. Nice 2k by him. Rapids takes down Manasek at last. And there's actually the first time this game that Diversity have had a man advantage over Power of Retro. But Ares is now about to go Explosive around to the There's two players from Diversity here. And he gets killed by Rapids, and there's now Pico left in a 1v3. I think this could be the first round on the board for Diversity. And he's been spotted out as well. They know where he is. They just have to play this smart. Yeah, nicely win. done by PRM. And that's the first round on the board for Diversity. <sighs> okay, we finally have a game on our hands then. Manasek. Uh, is an absolute tank on the A side though. Let's follow him to start the round. See how he sets up. Doing a great job so far. Honestly, the power of Retro look like they've committed a lot of people to the middle of the map. Actually, that's where a lot of the fighting is going along. At the start of the round, the old Mambo spots out Jews is trying to go up on the jump, and Pico kills Revs at the same time as well. So it's now a 3v5. It's a bit rough, but PRM taking down Ares, who can't quite get the kill onto bottom layers. Mana set though again, killing Karma. And, uh, he's going to take down PRM as well. No. Oh, missed a few shots there. But he's got the control. 
He knows that PRM is stuck here. He knows that Pico is gone, but Rapids has managed to kill Pico. Now PRM is almost going to get sandwiched within here. Yeah, gets killed by Ambic. Nicely done by Poor. It's now Rapids left alone in the 1v2. They know where he is because they heard the fake plant on the B site. Rapids, though, he's going to know exactly where he's coming from. Spots out Manasek going back into the butchers. And it's now Ambic and Rapids in a 1v1 now on the B site. Ambic, I assume, is going to be coming around the spawn, potentially. And Ambic knows that these are fake plants. You can hear the footsteps. Who's going to win this duel? Rapids! Unlucky! That was hard luck by Rapids. It was a nice try, but... In the end, Ambic doing a nice efficient trade to get the fourth round on the board for Power of Retro. So Karma and Jews having a bit of a slow start to the map. But... Yeah. Feels a little bit like diversity, not sure what to do in terms of winning this mid fight. Pico going in with an aggressive push into the fountain area. Rev killing Nambic actually at the start of the round, which is nice. Interesting how Power Retro never set up the same. They keep switching up all the, all the rounds. Like they're pushing heavy B now to make sure that they just get quick control of that side of the map to force diversity to go towards the A site. Manasek killing PRM to even things up. I'm going to take a little bit of nade damage there, but nothing too major. Pico, nice kill onto Rapids. And Karma does actually take down Manasek and opens up the A site a little bit. Rev's still waiting for the B rotation, and Aris can hear him in Mayers. And it looks as though Paul read the A play. Mambo, though, now holding down the A site. While his teammates rotate around. It's nicely done by him. He takes some damage from Rev and does eventually go down actually. So it's now a 2v2. And Dares is going to get the timing perfectly onto Rev. As Jews is putting the bomb down on A site. Explosives planted. And Jews does go down. Nicely done by Ares. Good retake. Yeah, nicely done. It's now 5-1. For power of retro. Axis win. I feel like there has to be a B B site hit soon. But it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case unless they're doing a little fake. No. Karma is committing towards the A side, so his PRM took a bit of A damage there. Oh, so the Karma's going towards the B side. Jews gets his first frag of the game. Takes down Ares, and they get the second, not quite. Doesn't quite land the shots, but does go down to the nade, but his teammates are cleaning up the A side. Mambo, though, takes down PRM. And Pico also gets a kill onto Rev, so it's now a 2v2. Nice by power of Retro to get us down to a 2v2. And Rapids makes his way into the back of uh, Sniper House. And Karma has made his way around back bookstore. He must have heard the step from Pico around the liquor store. He should have heard that. This is going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Karma has to make sure that he doesn't walk into this. And Pico does go down. And now they know where the last is. They know Mambo's holding the A site. Mambo needs to try and get one of these frags quickly. Win. Not able to. Rapids, nice round from him. Uh, yeah, he got 3k that round. Nicely done by him. Uh, second round on the board for diversity. They really need to pick up uh, most of these rounds now, actually. It was a strong start by Power of Retro. Are we going to finally see a B hit? Probably not. Maybe. Rev's going for a fast cross. Okay, his teammate's not following up. I don't like that. To be honest, I don't like the fountain split because there's no refrag there, like so. 
And Pico getting that early frag onto Rev. Nice shot by him to get that with one bullet as well. And Manasek again. Getting a frag on A site. Uh, Power Retro have sort of bought a little bit into the B site here. PRM stuck in the spawn at the moment. Waiting to waiting for the call on where to go. And Jews has heard Mayer's player, but Harris has taken down PR in the meantime. Now, power of retro. Really good round from them. Jews has managed to get one kill, but I think that might be all it is. They know exactly where he is. He knows where one player from power retro is, but I'm not sure he's going to do a lot about it. Yeah, nice. Nicely done by Power of Retro. Good um, discipline, making sure that they don't over push and give Jews a couple of easy frags. Nice. 6 2 then, in favour of Poor. Taking a little bit of damage, but just managed to tag a player, it looked like, at least from this angle. And get a nice shot onto PRM, not able to connect any of the shots, PRM there. So it's a good start to the round, Mambo making it even better. Uh, Rev managing to get a reply onto Ambic, though. Fighting the players here. Rev does get Mambo down, so that's the A players both dead actually. Oh no, Manasek's still alive, sorry. Yeah, he's managed to kill Jews. And also spotted one in liquor there, but I saw it at least. He maybe didn't, and Rev punishes him for that. 2v2 then. But diversity players split again. Rev in the liquor store is going to go down. And Explosive that's Rapids left planted. in a 1v2 then. He needs to get one of these kills fast. Otherwise, I think Poor is going to push together. And Pico, actually, all the way from the fountain, manages to get the kill. Nicely done by him. That's going to be 7 2 for Power of Retro. Axis I think I might have a little uh, painkiller break at half time. <sighs> yeah, Manasek is playing insane at the moment. 14 kills within 9 rounds. It's a really good return. Let's see if they actually finally figure out where Manasek is playing from. They know, they know where he is, but for some reason they don't really either nade it or try and double up this spot. They know what angles he's holding. They could maybe double up from that banana and the outside of it at the same time because he's open to both sides. He can't cover both angles at the same time. But it's one of those things where it's easier to say from a caster's perspective. And Jews is going down first this round to Mambo. Feels a little bit like uh, diversity uh, playing individual rather than together. It's almost like they need to coordinate these pushes a bit. Yeah, the second frag this round takes that rapids. Yeah, PRM getting a frag, but Ambic taking Rev and Karma killing Mambo at last. So it's a 3v2 advantage for Power of Retro. Pico has managed to push all the way around the B side of the map to the Allies spawn to try and pincer them in. Manasek is going to push towards the Sniper House as well. And do they have mid-control? They do indeed from Ambic. So Diversity are a bit trapped, although Ambic is retreating a little bit, which gives Diversity a little bit of breathing room if they were to push into the middle of the map. But oh no. That could have been embarrassing, but Pico Axis thankfully win. managed to spare his blushes and Ambic gets the last kill of the round, kills PRM. 8-2 then for Power of Retro on the German side of Neuville. This is a really good start from them, actually. Really strong. They just feel like they're playing better as a team at the moment. They're the ones getting all the trades and B 
being more efficient with their utility and stuff. Let's see if Diversity do something about this A player, but Manasek getting a nice nade kill on the rev. Which is not the start that Diversity will want. Uh, PRM though does actually finally take down Manasek with a nade. At last! Ares takes down Juice, but the fast A play is coming in. Kind of what was needed, I think, maybe five rounds ago. And Amix and Lucastorus. Rapids has spotted him. Oh, nice Explosive shot by Amix. Takes down Rapids. And really fast, they've managed to turn this from a 3v2 into a 2v1 for Karma. I mean, he's a good player in these situations, but it's going to take a lot. He only knows where one of these players are. They have a good idea where he is, I think. Not sure if they've actually spotted him yet, but they will be now. Karma does kill Pico now, a 1v1. Ambic knows where he is, and he's making the steps as well, so Karma knows that he's on the site. He's only got three bullets, though, and Ambic's holding this. Karma's not going to expect it either. Yeah, I think Ambic's won this. Yeah, nicely done. Karma not able to get the frag. Doesn't expect the insta defuse. Well done by Ambic. Nicely done. 9 2 then for poor. Ah. Oh, Rev uh, picking up a sniper. Things must be getting desperate. And PRM getting a nice nade kill on Manasek. That's twice now, so maybe Manasek is going to have to reposition, but Juice is again the first place to go down for diversity. Trying to make that instant push, and wow. Poor, this is such a solid hold on the A site. I don't know why they haven't even tried to go B, to be honest. Pico must be bored out of his fucking brains. <sighs> Let's watch a little bit of scope. Why not? Karma taken down Ambu. Uh, Mambu, sorry. Darius is going to push into the spawn building. This is going to force the hand onto the A site. Pico taken down Karma. If not able to get a kill, he's down to sort of 30 HP. Uh, he's just going to get. Ares. There it is. That's 10 rounds then for Power of Retro. Uh, nicely done by them. Really strong half. They're looking good this game. Diversity sort of looking like they ran out of ideas quite quickly. I don't know whose pick was what. I know that Breck is decider, which I really hope it goes to the decider because I love watching. Yeah, so diverse it even picked this map. Interesting. I'd have liked it's in the ban phase actually. I wish I was here a bit sooner. some painkillers. Uh, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, I'm back. 
that feels much better. Not. Who have we got in chat then? We've got 21 people watching, but no chatters. Come on, where's the chat? I need some chat. Give me someone to talk to. So, be interesting to see how poor approach this now. Whether they try and really force the issue and go for it, or whether they sort of hold back a little bit, figure out what's going on. They've got plenty of rounds that they can throw away, but I mean, you'd, normally you would say that it's an allied sided map. So here we go, second half, first map. Here we go then. Power of Retro going straight for the A site by the looks. Are they going to push it fast? They're going to try and cross instantly to the sniper house. Karma with a nice nade kill to start the round off onto Ambit. And Manasek has managed to get into the hole now. I know that they know a nade for this. If they don't throw it, then I'm mad. They don't throw it, and Manasek manages to get the kill. Onto Rapids. So they've now got the info for definite that he's there. Even if he wasn't spotted in the first place. They're not throwing a nade. Maybe they don't have any. Uh, so, Power of Retro pushing onto the A side, basically, is how this is going. Manasek going to get the plant down. And Diversity don't have a huge amount of control around the A side. Mambo's. Covering his teammate nicely. KRM taking down Aris. Pico though, good response. 3v3. And Diversity need the retake. They know Pico's going to be wrapping around that side of the map, but they can't focus on him too much because Manasek is lurking and he's going to take down the rev. Pico's going to take down Jews. Now Karma left for 1v3. No chance. Pico with that far look. Taking him down. First round of ally side goes to Power of Retro. Uh, we have skills. We have Wheeler. Alex, hello. Nice to see some chat as syntax. Hello. Let's get some hype in the chat. I need it. I need something. So. Four again going for the A setup, and Ambit's actually going super aggressive. Manasek going to get taken down by Karma. I thought Ambit was just going to push through then. But he's got the info that Butchers is clear. He's watching the A tank as well. He's going to stay here for a bit. I don't even think he's been spotted here. Rapid's going to take down now. Is, is Ambit going to finally spring and push into the A site? No. He's going to wait for his team to go down. But I feel like this A push was a little bit too late. He does take down Rapids, but might have been too little too late. Let's see if he can manage to turn this around. So Diversity have got complete control of the map. In terms of the B side, Pico is going to spot Rev proning around the front of A site. And he... There we go. Now he's going to spot him. Takes him down. Nicely done. And nice sec <laughs> second kill by Pico, actually. Make it a 2v2. And PRM does tag and because he goes to plant on the A site, but they are going to get the bomb down. Explosives Again, planted. diversity with a setup where they're split quite far apart. Jews spotted out the corner of the A site, but nobody's called it for him. Now he's seen him, but he's also been spotted himself. Does take him down with a nice headshot. Pico now in a 1v2. He's got two kills already this round. Can he clean it up for Power of Retro? He is going to take down Jews running onto the A site. And he's left PRM in a 1v1. 
which kind of probably didn't need to happen. I think Pico's actually going to win this. He's maybe not. Now Paddy's managed to pick up an MP. But 25 seconds left on the clock, and Pico's going to be moving around the site. Allies there it is. Win. Nicely done by Pico. That didn't need to happen. Yeah. Who picked Newville? Uh, div diversity picked Newville. It was a surprise pick, to be honest. Uh, thanks, so why not playing? Uh, I have ruptured my um, AC joint in my shoulder, so I literally can't move my left arm. Which is why I'm not playing. <laughs> Sorry, I've been reading chat. So, uh, Power Retro getting two early frags in this round. Rapid's taking a ton of nade damage there as well. Does get a frag though, takes down Ambit before he goes down. But Mambo taking down Paddy and Rev going down to Manasik as well. So it's now 4 1. And Pico's cleaned up the round. That's the, uh, is that the map? Yep, nicely done by Power of Retro. Really strong start for them. Diversity, not a great start. What is going on with Juice's ping? Oh, it's back to normal now. Yep, so that is that. Oh god, I can't type with one hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I really can't type with one hand at all. Ah, oh god. Yep, you can he sit here and listen to my pain. I'm afraid. Let's put that up to about a million. Nice start by Power of Retro there. <laughs> the commentary in Bone <laughs> Genetics can't even take a pull. <laughs> oh god. Yep. Well, I mean. If I had, if I was using my channel, I'd have probably been okay, but I don't have anything. I literally logged into this channel like two minutes ago, or before the stream started anyway. Nobody cares anyway, so yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> okay. So, here we go then. Second map. This is Power of Retro's pick, Tiger Town. Be interesting to see how this goes. They're a very strong Tiger Town team. And they're also starting on Axis side as well, so let's hope that diversity can take us to brick, because I really want to see that. And PRM. Going down to Ambic, playing this spot that he always plays. Not quite managing to get the second frag. Kind of managed to pick it up here. He's just going to hold the angle. Trying to bait the player into peaking this angle. Didn't work. They know a nade for this spot as well, but they've obviously forgot it. Annoying. Oh. Oh no. They just need one more nade it. They need someone with a grand to throw it. Oh, he's gonna go down maybe. Oh, he's just managed to dodge the nade. Either that or the nade just failed. Oh, God, frag. I'm sorry, I'm really interested in watching this scope battle. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> well that happened then. Uh 3v2 then. In favour of Power of Retro. <laughs> they even done that at the same time. Really weird. Uh, plant is coming in on Explosives A site. Planted. And they're going to get the plant as well. And going to get across with no damage to Rev. Really nicely done. But, 
they have to hold this now. Pico's gonna push in, Riv's gonna go down, and Raptor's going down to Manasik. Nice retake by Port. First round on the board for them. Karma, the only person getting the frags, actually. What? Yeah. Okay. So, Axis nicely done. Win. They get the first round. Power of Retro. Good start for them. I don't think Diversity will think it was too bad. They got the bomb down, but they just need to coordinate a bit better. Yeah, 20%. Those numbers look bait. Yeah, I'd go with... I'd, I don't know. I'd go with Wheeler's numbers. I think Wheeler's better at that kind of shit. <sighs> Massacre, don't you have a World of Warcraft raid to play or something? Okay, Ambic again. Gonna win this scope battle this round. And gonna retreat back to his classic spot. Mate, you just need to fucking hit the gym. I wasn't punching you. Do I believe it will make it to Breck though? Um No. No I don't. I don't. And PRM is gonna spam his Garand around a bit. Way down to Pico. Perfect round by Power of Retro. I don't think it will make it to Breck. I th I think uh, this map should have probably been banned, but it is what it is. Will Dan make it to break? Will I make it to break? I'll break. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I'm not going to be moaning if it doesn't make it to Breck. For myself, I want to see uh, the first frag from Ambic coming because it's going to happen. Oh. Uh, oh, nice double nade kill by Rev. And Ambic actually misses the shot as well. Could this be the first round on the board? They need to take advantage of this. Nicely done by Jews taking down Aris and Duck. How to get the A plant down? And here we go. Pico throwing a nade. Way too late. Rapids is on the bomb though. Now he can just plant the bomb. No nades left. Oh wow. Explosive Again, 2v2. Yep. 1v1. Karma having to run like fuck to get to the bomb. Here's the defuse coming in. He's gonna do it. He's just gonna hold it. He knows that he's just gonna hold it. Allies win. Huh. Well, that was a way closer round than it needed to be. Am I going to break my hand? Man, I haven't broke my hand. It's my shoulder. I haven't broke my fucking hand. <laughs> That's how dog get to obey. What, breaking his fucking arms? go. Does Ambic get the first frag of the round? Usually does. Spots out the top west fence player and don't peek it. Don't peek it. Don't peek it. Please don't peek it anymore. You're gonna go down. Jesus with a really aggressive push actually onto the dark alley. Taking down Mambo, the nade is coming in. Why are you still holding it? Explosive <laughs> nice. I <sighs> didn't think he was going to get a plant, but he did. 4v3 then in favour of diversity. Rev takes down Ares to make it 4v2. Just no need to over peak this now. Nicely done by Rapids. And Pico's spotted out. 
Arctic takes down Rapids. 1v3. Surely there's no chance of this. There isn't. Juza takes it down. Nicely done. It's now 2-2. Two, two. That's a good actual start from diversity on the ally side. Just got the coordination a little bit better than on the previous map. Oh, God. I've just read. I don't know what Sick is saying. What do you think, though? What do you think? Will it make it to Breck? Do you believe in diversity? Oh, Karma getting the first frag around, taking down Ares. Whoa, that was a nice shot by Ambik. Taking down Karma. Quick reactions and Rev. Taking him down for punishment. The scope battle is going to be interesting here. And PRM takes down Mambo as well. I think from the nades from the dark alley, Pico has figured out exactly what he's doing on the site. Is the plant going to come in? No, the nades have done enough to delay the plant a little bit. And Pico actually gets Narapids down on the site. And he's moving around a lot. Manasek is still on the dark alley. Pico now into the bottom butchers and PRM is above Explosives him. This planted. could get awkward. And PRM's in a nice position here to actually help his team out. Jews though taking down Pico oh, and win. Manasek. Nicely done by Jews. 3-2 then in favour of diversity. And it looks like they've stepped things up now. They just have to keep it going. Hey Asma. Okay, so let's see, is this the scope battle again? Uh, Rev gonna take a more sort of laid back approach in the map. Let Ambik have that spot and see if he can take the scope battle to him later. He knows where he's gonna be playing from. Oh, nice nades here. Takes Ares down to 1 HP. He's managed to figure out that he's not gonna take. Nade damage enough to, um... Oh, Pico taking down Rev in the prone spot. Rapids with a nice double kill from the nade. Oh, he's managed to hit the stairs as well with that. Jews taking a wide approach from Mayers, so he's across. They've got the info on that now. And now it's going to be a case of baiting out the nades again on the A site. Karma taking a bit of damage. Yeah, that nade's going to kill him. He's going to have to get off the bomb. And they know that he's outside of the dark alley now. So... Karma a little bit stuck. He spotted out the shoe store player though. And Mambo takes down PRM. 3v3. This could get a little bit interesting now. Because uh, there's a lot of angles. Nice by Rapids. Now that frees up the A site a little bit more. Jews and Rapids need to get together now. Unlucky for them that Pico is there to stop that from happening. So Jews left in a 1v2. And. They're going to sort of trap him a little bit. He's heard the Dark Alley player. Yeah, he's stuck. Mm, plant the bomb. If he can get back across, that would be something. does take down Pico as well. He needs to get this reload in. And he now knows that Mambo hasn't pushed either. Mambo does take down Jesus though. Nicely done by him to retrieve the round for Power of Retro. That was a good round, actually. Very exciting. Just unmasking my excitement through my pain. Axis win. Where's all the uh, predictions at? Come on. Does it go third map? I want to see in the chat, does it go to a third map? <sighs> oh. Throwing a lot of early nades here on the cross already, so they're pushing for a fast round, I guess. And they've not watched the mayor's cross. Manasek is taking down Rev. Manasek. 
<laughs> doing work and the Rapids finally takes him down, but it might be a bit too late. Pico taking down PRM and both teams went for an aggressive stunt in this round. And it's gone in favour of Power of Retro. They've done really well to prevent the fast push. Rapids inevitably goes down to Pico as well. Nicely done by Port. Would have said the Port to win, but now I don't know. Yeah. I still think that Paul will close it out in two. They're really good on Tiger. We'll see though. Paul going for a really aggressive push on the shoe store. Nice early nade. Ambic, wow, they've pushed up super aggressive. I don't see diversity expecting this, but PRM has obviously spotted something to be holding this kind of angle. Rapids takes down Aris, but do they know there's another one here? They do. Ambic going down to PRM, nice nade by him. And the aggressive stance maybe not worked out, but poor Mambo has pushed over towards the shoe short. Uh, shoe short? Shoes to the side of the map, but goes down to Juice. Nicely done by him. And now the map is completely split. They need to kill Pico and just get the bomb down on B. But they have to push it together. Pico goes to push. Yep, goes down. Kind of sick on the rotation. 2v1 now. He could win this. No. Explosives planted. Stranger things have happened, and he does kill Rapids. Juice has thankfully manages to chime in. With a efficient refrag. That's now 4 4. It's nice to see uh, Jews doing work on this map. He'll have been disappointed with his Newville. Uh, player of the match so far would probably have to be Manasek. He's been really consistent across the both maps so far. <laughs> Thirteen eleven to diversity. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be a good, um, interesting match. Two maps is enough. Give my money. <laughs> I can only imagine that you have to be the biggest geek when it comes to virtual money as well, Thomas. Manasek killing Rev. Pico not quite connecting the shot onto the Mayor's player. Juice does take down Manasek. And that's the first frag this round for diversity. And PRM taking a bit of damage, gets punished for trying to jiggle peek the guy in the dark windows. And he's now on the roof. So, they've got the timing on this. The nade is coming in, he's gonna die from that. Yeah, so that's smart by Mambo. Really smart to nade that side of the tank as well. And that's probably closed out any hopes of diversity picking up this round, unless there's a real big mistake. 15 seconds left in the round. Yeah, they've had to panic a bit now. It's just Rapids left in a 1v4. Has he even got a second gun? Oh, no, I yep. Dance <laughs> Yeah, 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 basically. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah. Yep. So, 5 4 then, in favour of Power of Retro. It's a close map. Close map. See if diversity can respond with another round, or if poor can just pile on the pressure a little bit. Here come the nades again. They're coordinating nades nicely, but 
this round, uh, they've coordinated the nades but haven't got a cross in place. So they've used a lot of their util but not crossed at the same time. Mambo taking a ton of nade damage there though. It's unlucky that he didn't go down to that Pico though. Killing Rev and getting a second even onto Karma. Let's see if he can do more work. He's heard the player at the top of the west fence. Fucking Snoop Dogg of uh, COD based Discord, Thomas. Uh, Max definitely going down here. That fun. Mambo, nice round from him. Picks up the sixth round for um, Power of Retro. See if Manasek goes for a nice aggressive cross to Mayers. I've got a feeling he will. Nope. He's just gonna jump up the dark alley. Ah, uh, Thomas, teach this guy to jump, bro. Oh wow. Hey, he's up. <laughs> uh, Thomas, you need to teach him. Oh god. I've seen enough, and here comes the cross to Mayers. Yeah, smart. It's a smart play. They haven't seen him. They haven't spotted anything. Oh, is he going to get a bash? Please get a bash kill. I actually beg that he gets a bash kill. Nah. Is there anyone in Mayers? We're about to find out. There's Jesus. Takes down Madison. But it is a 2v3 now for diversity. It's going to be difficult for them. <laughs> you hope the losers don't feel like they're losers because in my mind they're really cool guys. Yeah, man. We're all cool. Cool as fuck, like 30 years old and playing this dead game. Uh, PRM just spotted one above him but didn't react to it. That's unfortunate. And Jews is in the bottom of the hotel. Win. Goes down from a nice one tap by Aris. Seven for them for Power Retro Diversity need this last round, in my opinion, to have a chance of taking this map and bringing us the third. It'll be interesting to see if they can manage it. That's not the start that Diversity needed. Nice nade kill by Ambit. Oh, PRM and... They've just ran at this. They're Jews on 1 HP Mayers, but against 5 this is going to be difficult it's going to be the half I think this is win. nicely done by Port 8-4 in favour of, of Power of Retro I think that this is going to be uh, over in two, unfortunately.
Pico's obviously on a smoke break or something, toilet break. Okay, so in this little break, uh, let's talk about something. Uh, skills, do you believe in God? And I mean real God, not who you perceived as God back in like 2010 when you were three years old. And you thought that the best rifle only players were gods. Yeah, we're gonna have a deep conversation now. Until. Poor Ready Up. I'm hoping that I get an answer before they're ready up, but if not, I still wanna see it. Oh, I'm not going to get my answer before they're ready up, but... Yep. Ow. I just hurt myself. Well, this is going to have to be a almost flawless German side by diversity. Our German side isn't the greatest, in my opinion. Let's see how we set up, whether we're going to set up... With two watching the cross, it looks like that's going to be the case. Arya's taking a little bit of nade damage early round. And they're just going straight for it. They don't give a fuck. Jews, though, punishes Arya's for that. And Rapids takes down Mambo, so two watching the cross. That is the setup that they went for, and it was a good call to start the round. Pico, though, taking down Karma. For punishing him for pushing through the shoe store. Manasek is just waiting for an overpeak in the dark alley. There it is. Doesn't get the shot though. ARM trying to hold a bit of control on the shoe store side of the map. As Ambik has moved up to the barrels. Now this will be interesting to see what they do from here. It looks like they're still going to try and push towards the A site, but they need to kill Dark Alley or one of the crossers. And Ambit could have actually taken... Yeah, that's been called that that could be a potential problem by Rev. And Jews has taken him down. Goes down to Mana Secretary. Only God can lead. That's quality. <laughs> well, it's going to be a 1v3 for Power of Retro. Good start by Diversity, actually, to shut down the fast round. And maybe it'll learn a little bit of respect from Power of Retro. Manasek going to try and take down PRM, but that's not possible. PRM anchoring the B site nicely. So it's a good German side start by Diversity. Only God can lean. Oh, that's actually cracked me up. <laughs> oh, God. So, how the power of retro is set up now? Yeah, 
slightly slower approach now. Oh, bro, we're getting straight into the hotel. No problems. Just gonna try and take a pick from these stairs. That sounds like a tag coming from the table there. That's gonna get naded off soon. And Mambo has now given up his position in the hotel stairs, top of hotel. Karma though, getting an early frag on the shoe store side of the map, taking down Ambic. And Rev is still holding the dark alley solo. Yeah, he's doing my job. It's a nice job. Carmelo going down to the nade of Ares, who is also on 1 HP. It's nicely done by him to level up the players from each team. So Rev is going to be still in the dark alley, takes down the 1 HP of Ares. Managed to get across with 30 seconds on the site. Nade comes in, Mambo takes down, and he's doing exactly what Rapid is doing. Oh, I think Poro are going to pick up this round, though. Nope, never mind. That was quickly stopped. Mambo now left in a 1v2. It's causing havoc, though. Yeah, Rapid takes him down at last. That was unlucky for Mambo. It was a good round from him, actually. He is the top fragger for Power of Retro so far. That is, though, the uh, second round of German side for diversity. That's a good start by them. <coughs> Power of Retro just need to clean things up a little bit. Got a little bit of breathing room, but they could probably do with getting an allies around on the board sooner rather than later. Before, before things start getting a little bit tighter. PRM taken down, top fragger Mambo with a nice nade. Yeah. Ambic taken down Rev from the shoe store trench. Nice shot by him. through the shoe store as well, but Karma's holding it from the B site. He's not firing off any shots yet. Now he's spotted by Ambic. So, this is going to be interesting. What does he do? Maybe not. They're pushing towards the B side of the map, actually. Is Karma going to know about it? He does take down Manasek, but Ambic responds. 3v3 now. And Rapids takes down Ares, who's pushing to bottom butchers. And the map is so open, though. Yeah, Pico has taken down PRM from the dark windows, and they're both in the top of Butcher's. Juice comes behind them, takes down one, and Ambic taking fire from behind as well. And he's now left in a 1v2 with 1 HP. And it's looking shaky for Ambic, and they've heard a drop as well. And he doesn't quite get the shot. Rapids taking the pistol to him. And uh, another quite a close round, actually. But diversity managing to close it out. Mamba going down to a nade a second round in a row. That's um <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought, mate. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. I'm gonna try and push towards the shoe store and take down Karma and get a little bit of control. 
soon trying to spot out the dark alley behind him. Oh, he takes a bit of damage. As he tries to push him. He knows Karma's close. Karma getting a headshot and takes down Ambic. So, 5v3, diversity still got all players alive. Just have to be disciplined and wait out for the move of Power Retro. Here it comes. They've got across to the Mayor's building. And Juke's not quite managing to connect that shot, but the top hotel guy also going to be pushing in onto the site. Karma is on the site, basically. Deco though, taken down. PRM as the B side of the map opened up a little bit, but Manaset going down to Juice. Now it's only Pico left in one or two. Goes down. <sighs> it's leveled it up now. 8 8. This is going to be a close game now. Very interesting. Good, strong start by Diversity and Poor just needing to get that first round on the board to slow the momentum down a little bit. They need to try something different because. They tried a fast round to start with, and that didn't work on the A side. And now, since then, they've been slowing things up a little bit, and maybe just missing a little bit with that team play that they done so well on Newville. Oh, let's see. I think we've got a geek nade coming. I, sorry, I haven't got the hands to be able to follow the nade. So it's going to be shooting somewhere. Here we go. This is the switch up. There's a nice trade there. Jesus though takes down Mambo. And Ambic taking down Karma, so it's 3v3 and again the map has opened up a little bit for Power Retro. This is gonna be potentially the first round, but Jews with a Thompson takes down Pico. It's now 2v2. It's really awkward to go either way. Ambic taking down PRM. Jews knows where both are. He's heard the last one on the B site. Manasek against Jews. Has Jews heard him here? Oh! Nicely done by Manasek. Takes him down. First round on the board by Power of Retro, and they really needed that. So there was the switch up. The early push from the street straight into the bottom of Butchers. Really good round by Power of Retro. So, how do they follow that up? Do they. Re Resort back to a slower round, or maybe push the mayors fast, or could be interesting to see what they do here to back that up. They're just stopping diversity, getting the lead. Carmelo pushing up into the shoe store, takes down Ambic, nicely done. And that sort of slows up the power of Retro push a little bit. So now they're going to be thinking about what Karma's doing, where he is. He's got a little bit of crossfire from his teammates as well. As he pushes in towards the edge of the fence. And he's just sneaking around, gaining a little bit of control. But Pico nicely shut down by him. Takes Karma down and that's restored the sort of normal kind of map control that you'd expect on this map. PRM just pushed up a little bit from the B side. And he's going to retreat as well now. The control that diversity had has gone. Looks like Power Retro gonna try and head towards the A site. Ares taking down Jesus and that's gonna help open things up a lot. Nicely done by him. They're gonna throw an aid into the dark alley. Try and stop the anti plant. Maybe fake it out a little bit. Pico gonna lurk around the shoe store. Ares though does go down to PRM who's hit him on the cross from the nades of the A site. It is a 3v3 but the nades are running out for diversity and Manasek is gonna jump onto the bomb and get the plant in. Here comes the plant. And there's no Explosive fire from the dark alley so the plant is in. And it's being spotted by Manasek. Takes down Rev, nicely done. So taking down Pico, so that's the third player. But both players left with a rifle only, I believe. And uh, Mambo in the Mayors. Manasek on the A site. Both players from diversity coming from the same direction. And that's going to get called soon. They both jumped 
towards the back of the hotel. And they're going to get pincered off, but Manasek is just going to sit on the A tank. 20 seconds left, I don't think there's enough time for them to do anything with this. Oh, are going to win the round here. Yeah, Map is not able to connect the shots. Allies win. Yeah, nicely done by Power of Retro. 10 8 now in favour of them. Score. So uh, it was 1 0 for Power of Retro. They won the first map on Newville comfortably. And it's now 10 8 for Power of Retro. Second map. This is their pick of Tiger Town. Third map would be Breck if we managed to get there. Nice nade by PRM. Takes Pico down early round. Punishes the first early cross. <laughs> the overlay is coming when my shoulder's back, so I don't know, a few months maybe. Right, this is, uh, I don't know if he connected that shot. It looked like he tagged him, but I'm not sure. Power Retro going for the A cross, but Juzas has taken down Manasek. Explosives planted. Okay, so oh no. Well, Has he masked? He's masked the defuse with that nade kill or something. Axis win. I, I've no idea what the fuck just happened. <laughs> well, um, that's uh, that's awkward. Nicely done though, I guess. If that was the strat, I uh, doubt it was. A little bit of Croatian friendly fire. It was worthy of the cause though, so... Now back at 10-9 then, for Power of Retro. Still ahead, just managing to hold on to things. Has that actually damaged him on the MG fence? Yeah, it has. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, nice shot by Ambit. Takes down PRM. Rapids response though. And can he hold on to things here a little bit? Just a little bit longer. Nicely chipped in by Juice there. Well played. Somehow they've managed to restore things in favour of diversity, but Mambo taking down Rev. And he's going to hear Jews rotating towards the dark alley as well. So he's just going to chip in, help his teammate out here, Explosives getting a plant down planted. on the A site. Here comes Rapids from one direction, and Jews from the other. 
They need to pinch this. Nicely done by Juice. It's now 1v2 for Iris to try and clean up with a scope and a dream. It's going to go down to Rapids. Nicely done. Well played by a little combo there of Juice and Rapids. Really good. <sighs> Sorry, I don't think I've... Yeah, I know who let the dogs out. Axis. No. Fucking annoying. Uh, so... There's the scores. Uh, Jesus and Mambo are top fragging for their respective teams. Uh, good to see different players on the top from the last map. <laughs> so in come the early nades. Assess the damage unfolds. So I think they go for this fast push, push again, but diversity with the first two kills. Power of Retro taking a quick response on those though. And Karma left here on the B side, takes down one, takes down the second. And now it's just Pico left in a 1v3 with one HP. Win. Ah, you can't hear it from the stairs. <laughs> Well, yeah, give him a yellow card. Fuck him. So, we're now at 11 10. Diversity have finally taken the lead. I think the 13 11 shout could be on, by the way. We just have to not overextend now. Be patient. Let the game come to them a little bit. Is the first frag in favour of diversity. Pico going down. Juice not quite landing the shot onto Mambo as he gets into the top of the hotel. Gonna go straight out onto the ledge to try and stop the shoe store push. Rapids taking down Karma. The nades have been brilliant. I'm really enjoying it. Ambic pushing B since 2003. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh god. Yep, PRM takes down Aris. And it's now 4v2. And I'm not sure about this double hotel push, but we'll see how it goes. Don't feel like it needed to be so aggressive. Juice is better just holding this angle. Really. Yep, nicely done by Rapids. Mana sick left. I need some pink. Yep, goes down to Rev. Now match point, or map point, sorry, for diversity. Uh, I'm glad they proved me wrong. I had no faith, to be honest. <sighs> Vodka, hello mate, how are you? Is this a redemption arc from the team? <laughs> yeah, I heard. I didn't see it, but I heard. Well, I, that's game over. That's game over. That's just not worked out at all for uh, four. So we're going to see a third map unless Ambic can pull this one out of the bag. My word, that's going to have to be some sort of clutch though. So it goes down to Jesus. <sighs> Good half. Nicely done. I'll let them take the screen. Oh, they've already done it. Nice. Well, we got what we asked for then. Chat. So I'm going to be back in a second. <sighs>
Oh, okay, I'm back. What did I miss? Addict. Yep. Flash 1v1. Yep. That's the one. And... Yeah, close with prediction. Tough job for diversity without Massacre. Oh, you mean Breck? Yeah, uh, Massacre's good on Breck. Definitely. Um, so I'm, a I'm actually interested to see how they set up without me and Massacre on Breck. Gonna be interesting. So, who are the champions pick? Surely not Rev. No way it's actually gonna be Rev. Oh my god. Jews against who? Yeah. Lambo. Nice. Yep. Ambo goes down. Well, Diversity opting to go onto the German side. Not that that's even a slight surprise, to be honest. Well, let's see it then, chat. What are your predictions? Oh, we're not ready. Okay, let's see them predictions, chat. What do we think? What's going to be final map score? 1-1, one, one. final map, decider on brick. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> yeah, toxic as fuck. Right, 
I want to see the setup. So PRM going to the big room. Fuck me. I have no words. I have no words. Oh god, there's a scope. <laughs> Power Retro looking at a strong start here. Nanosec pushing around onto the B site, B bombs down. Allies yep. win. <laughs> Strong start by Power Retro to get the first round done, Allies. Uh, that was an absolute shambles. Absolute shambles. Well. We know how that's going to get played then. Karma and uh, PRM on the A side of the map. Please don't happen again. I'm going to have to watch it just in case. Nah, didn't happen. Oh god. I feel nervous now. Uh, Rev going down to Ambic. Nicely done by him on the B fields. Again, just getting that little bit of B early control. Which means that PRM is probably going to have to rotate back. Yep. Rapids trying to push up, get a little bit of early control to help the team out a little bit here. He's going to have to pull back into the trench. Karma going down though. This is not an ideal start for diversity. Rapids does get one kill. Ari is not mentioned to respond. Now 3v3. Nicely done by Rapids and Jews. Two players from Power Retro towards the B side of the map. PRM has spotted at least one of them, I would guess. <laughs> He's managed, managed to get a nade kill onto Mambo. I'm sure that was a set nade. Manasek going down to Juice. What a recovery this has actually been. My diversity, I didn't expect them to recover from this. Ares, though, left in the 1v3. And he's a little bit surrounded. But I'm sure... Someone is able to uh, win it. It's going to be Ares. Does take down Rapids. And he's going to get the second frag onto PR. It's now 1v1. And he doesn't know where Jesus is. What a round of recoveries this has been. This is going to be really interesting to see. How Jews plays this one. Okay, so now they both know where each other are. Jews is going to be expecting to push up above the A site, which is exactly what Ari is going to do. Close. Jews is win. just about wins the duel. What a round that is. Both teams, that was so close. Hard luck for Ari's with a really close 1v3 clutch. Thirteen five poor. Wow. Thirteen eleven diversity. Nice. Some good predictions coming in there. Twelve twelve three at the time. I hope not, man, because I'm gonna die if it's that long. Yeah, yeah, I had the right perspective for it. Perfect. Yep. Karma taking down Ambic. Take down to 1 HP as well. Ooh, nice nade by Manasik. And Ares also chipping in with a frag to take down Rev. Makes the situation a lot easier for them. It's now 3v3. The defense is now much more split up. Manasek taking down Jews as well from the MG. And now Poor have got a lot of map control. They've got complete control of the A site with PRM. 
in the mid bunker and Rapids pushed up close on the A trench. They're going to have the A, A pincered a little bit here. So they even have the frag Ares. So now just Rapids left in the 1v3. Uh, they don't see that shot point. either. It does take down Ares. Nice shot there. Now the 1v2. Manasek sitting in the mid bunker and Pico 1 HP on the site. So Manasek is just going to try and cover his teammate as Rapids moves in on the field, but he doesn't have that perspective. Manasek with a quick refrag to take down Rapids. Two rounds in a row now, really close uh, clutches. But Poor managed to get the second round on Ally's side. A good start by them to Brickort. Early tag coming in there from PRM. He's going to push across to the red house. He's not going to hit him. Manasek going for a quick push. Rapids with a quick 2k. Jews is going down in the middle of the map. Rapids again with a third kill this round. I know that he's going to try and push for the ace because it's Rapids. But I hope he doesn't because it's only 3v2. So, a little bit of silence on Brecourt now. Apart from Ares, chilling in the bush, getting that bar. And Manasek is on the broken bomb of the A side of the map. I hope someone clips some of these team kills, by the way. Manasek takes down Rapids, so that's going to put a stop to the ace. And it's now 2v2 and a little bit of a shaky situation for diversity. Karma though, taking down Aris and pushing up into the trench. Manasek stuck in the middle of the trench. Is he going to try and push out into the middle of the field? I think that's going to be the right move. Karma though, pushing up the trench. Manasek just trying to spot him out when he's going to expect Karma to come in the back if he doesn't spot him out soon. This is just going to be a game of patience and PRM just sitting in the big bunk, um, big ruins isn't going to spot him out. Manasek has managed to navigate his way around Karma on towards the A site. And PRM has just spotted him on the A site and now Karma's going to take him down. Axis Nicely win. done. Yeah, Manasek unlucky there. It was good movement but not quite managing to get the result that he was looking for. Really close rounds. The last three rounds have been really close. Diversity needing to stamp a little bit more authority on this side of the map though because ally side on this map is going to be difficult against Power of Retro. Ara has taken down Rev again early round. Khan's going to be pushing up into MG as well. I'm not sure about this play. Because poor are going to be flooding the B side of the map now. Okay, Karma does go down to Abic. PRM nading the broken bomb, but that's not where the players really are. It's all coming from the mid MG. This is a problem when Rev goes down early round, it gives them all the control that they want to push the B side of the map. And they've totally cleaned up. Nice round by Power of Retro, taken down. All five without a single refrag. Really nicely done. Managing to get a single tag onto the red house crosser. And Ambic. Ambic, the only player around the MG this time. Rapids ch chiming in with the first kill of the round, taking down Lambo. 
it's gonna push up again. Going aggressive here, takes down Pico, spots out Ares, doesn't quite land the shot. Ares takes him down, punishes him for the missed shot. And he takes down PRM as well for a second, 1 HP though. 2v2 now. And Manasek takes down Karma as well, and it's only Rev left at Big Ruins. Not managing to land that shot, and now they know where he is. Iris is going to push towards the site. Manasek is going to come back with him. Rev, nice day to take down Iris. And Manasek didn't take the damage from it, luckily. Nicely done, it's a 1v1 now. Can Rev recover the round? Just misses the shot. Manasek just proning in the trench. Just trying to get onto the site, and he's managed to get there safely now. Rev, has he heard the steps onto the bomb? There's the sound cue that he needed. He's not going to hit the shot. Manasek is now going to take the fight to him. 25 seconds left on the clock. Does he manage to land? He's tagged him up. Rev in a pro problematic position there. Manasek nicely cleaned up by him. That's now 4-2 in favour of Power of Retro. Diversity need to close these rounds out. Nicely played by Manasek. Really good. Let's see if Ares manages to spot out any players. Oh, he just managed to spot one. Pico taking a bit of damage there at the start of the round. But taking down Rappers with a really nice short aggressive push. Pico going down to the nade from PRM though. It wasn't going to take a lot, they only had to blow on him for him to die. Karma, Explosive. aggressive push onto the B field, but the plot is down on the A site. Quick round there by Power of Retro. It's unlucky for them actually. Good retake though by Diversity. Not Rev's day. Well, so far on this map, Axis not yet. Win. But Manasek again with the early aggress aggression on this uh, map. He's always taken the early frags, starting strong for his team. So that's the third round for uh, Diversity. Really, they would be wanting to pick up the rest of these rounds now to have a good chance of um, taking the map. So PRM needed to connect some of these shots. That one looked like it might have landed. Potentially. Let's see if it did. Yeah, it did. He connected once. Looked like it anyway. So, again, Pico with that sort of early round aggression. Pushing towards the broken bomb to open up the A side of the map. Although, looking like they're taking a lot more control on the B side of the map. They've spotted out um, Rev on the lower B fields. Rev managing to flick onto Mambo. Mambo just fluffing that shot a little bit there. And Rev going to go down to this nade. Possibly, no. Just takes a tiny little bit of damage. Not too bad. Do they think that he's moved round? He's going to have some trouble if they push round, but Rapids is chipping in with a little bit of support from the top of the B corner. And he hasn't spotted anyone. Do they actually have any players here or have they rotated? Uh, they've got Manasek. And yeah, they've got Ambic outside of the MG as well, but Rev or Rapids not spotting that just yet. Rev is really low now. Just has to stay alive for a little bit here. Where is going to finally push round and he spotted one out in the MG. Ah, he needs to not be heard here. His team are cleaning up for him as he pushes into the MG. Pico left alone now. 1v3. About half HP. Juice. Nice headshot to take him down. 
That's now 4 4. <laughs> Cursed on brick. <laughs> ah, hello, Johnny. How are you, mate? B field aggression again. And the nades are chiming in now. Looks like Reverse, you might have read that situation. Karma with an aggressive push to the MG. Take down Ampic. He's even going to re aggress here. Nice shot onto Manasek. Rev does go down to Mambo. Mm, not sure that the re aggression is the right call. Yeah, good job, Karma. You've done your job. Now just pop back. Really good. Ares is uh, just going to try and cause a little bit of a distraction on this side of the map on the A field. And Pico. And, uh, and Vambo. Going to try and do a little bit of work on the MG. But Karma's got a nice nade here. Is that going to land? Uh, doesn't do any damage to Mambo. Mambo's going to progress into the MG. He might have managed to get in there without being heard as well, actually. He made a small step, but I think the nade kind of masked it for him. So he's going to try and push through. Takes down Karma. Nicely done. He's going to push through all the way now and aggress. And his teammate's up in the small ruins. So they have quite a bit of control towards this A side of the map now. Arias and Mambo taking... Control, PRM all the way around on the spawn. Rapids though from uh, the mid bunker. And Jews pushed up onto the A trench. They know that um, Ares is still alive, but Ares is actually wrapped around all the way from the mid bunker. He's going to take down Rapids. Nicely done by Ares. PRM though, taken down Pico so he doesn't get the plant. And now Ares left alone in the 1v2, 15 seconds left on the clock. He's going to have to try and push around onto the A site, but Jews has uh, got this covered. Although he doesn't have the angle to kill him from there, I don't think, on the plant. He doesn't. Four seconds left, no time. Nicely played by Diversity. Ares Excellent. just going to sit out. Not give them the frag. I don't think he had a secondary. But, yep. Nicely done, done by Diversity. I'll get my words out. Nicely done by Diversity. To make it 5-4. They do need the rest of these rounds. Really, in my opinion, to have a good chance. Of... Uh, Winning this map, realistically. Five rounds is going to be a big ask, even. So, four now switching up, going for this sort of A field here. Leaving Ambuk alone. Ambuk going down to a Jesus nade. And they don't realise that Ambuk's already pushed in. He's already close. He's going to do damage here, Ambuk. Nice push. Takes down one, takes down two. He's going to push into the mid bunker and try and get a third. He does spot out the third. Manages to tag him. This is looking shaky now for di uh, diversity, but Rev uh, manages to take him down. With a nice nade. Explosives planted. Yeah, bomb goes down on the A site. Uh, nade's coming in onto Rapid's position as well. Rev stuck on the B site. Not looking good for diversity this. This is going to be really difficult to retake. They've got the mid bunker surrounded. They know that the second player is all the way on the B site. So they've got full control of this situation. Manasek taken down Rev as well. And it's just Rapids. Harris does take him down. Nicely done by Power of Retro. 5-5. Five, five. It's a really good start for them. Five rounds on allies is really good. So, Rev chipping in with the first frag of the round, that is Mambo going down.
Apparently it's taken down Pico. Ares does respond though, takes down Rapids. Karma spots one out into the MG. Little aggressive push here. Quite managing to land yet. Juice is going down to Ares and this actually opened up a little bit now. Karma could go down to Ares here if he's not careful. It's a little bit of a tricky situation. Nade comes in, lands by Harris. I'm not sure that's where he wanted it to go, but he'll take it. 1v2 though. But again, he's a uh, good player in these kind of situations. Especially on Breck with a scope. So, how does he play it? 45 seconds left on the clock. He's going to try and aggress onto the A trench. Rev is uh, sitting around there just waiting. Ares is kind of. He's almost expecting it a little bit. He's watching the mid bunker, but Rev isn't there. He's just prone in the trench, but he's not going to get this angle to actually stop the plant. But he does manage to hit a, his big toe, I think. Takes him down. 6 5 for vi diversity. Here we go then, final round of the half on the final map. Poor kind of split up a little bit here, but they're pushing onto the B side of the map, they've decided. Waited for the early nades and waiting for diversity to get set up. Karma though has pushed onto the B field. PRM taking down Ares with the scope. Mambo pushing towards MG, takes down Juice. It's going to get a second frag onto Karma on the B fields. Pico actually takes down Rapid, who will be pushing close on the A trench, I can only imagine. So. Mambo actually taking down PRM as well, so it's now a 2v2. As he pushes through towards the A site, Karma having to rotate back, and Rev is already on the B site as well, so poor. Don't know how much control that they've actually got at the moment. Diversity. Having to group up a little bit and get ready for this retake. Karma's got the nade for the A site. Mm, I'm not sure if. Well, that's not my lineup anyway, but it's obviously his. So Explosive. just wait for the plant, here it comes. See if the nade lands. Yep, takes down Pico. Nicely done. Mambo then left in a 1v2, but he is in an off angle. I quite like this position. I, I'm a bit worried about it being a one and done though. Depends if Diversity managed to time this push together. Because if Rev can come around wider, then uh, Mambo's got no chance. Yeah. They're playing this smart. Here comes Rev. Takes down Mambo. Well played. Well played by Diversity. Good retake by the Croatian duo is this third map Axis Ah, <laughs> skill jump for yeah mate uh, I can't match his kind of energy on the best of days, but I definitely can't match it on painkillers. That's not going to happen. Sorry. That's not my style. My bet is in the pocket. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Second half. 7-5, so there's a lot to do here for diversity. Six rounds on allies is really tough. They have to start strong, poor, just have to really kind of play as they normally would and they should be able to close this out. And a nice bit of early damage though coming in it sounded like towards um, our retro. Yeah, Manasek down to 1 HP already, nice free fire. So, 
Let's see what the plan is here. They've kind of split things up a little bit. Let's try and gain a little bit of map control. Rapids and Paddy gonna try and push onto the B field. Pico getting the first frag. Getting the first frag. Has he spotted out? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's an unfortunate misplay, but Rapids just about manages to get the frag onto Pico. Uh, Daris taken down Rapids now. Nice response. So a 4v3, a couple of poor players on uh, a bit of damage here. In fact, they're all taking damage, but they aren't getting killed. Karma does go down, and it's now a 2v4 for diversity to try and get something from this. Not likely now. PRM going down to Manasek, and Manasek is in the small ruins. Rev does take him down, though. And, oh, he didn't quite manage to connect with the second, but they aren't going to re-peak that. Ambic's just going to let him sit there. And Mambo's going to come up from the MG to make sure that he doesn't rotate around. So Rev in a horrible position. I think Mambo's going to take him down now. Unless he manages to hit a really nice shot with the scope. He's going to have to get this perfect. Oh, the timing. Oh, nice shot. Does take him down. But only 20 seconds left on the clock. He's got a full sprint on here. Can only go A as well. And the nade has come into the MG to just delay him. Nicely played. Yeah, Power Retro picking up this round. Well done. Really smart play by Poor. Again, the pre-fire coming in and connecting. Looks like it hit Ares this time, though. Manasek getting the first frag of the round, though. Taking down Rift. Pushing on to the small ruins. Nice bit of early round aggression by Manasek. Just no respect given. Really nice. So PRM is going to try and line up the uh, nades for the B side of the map. And uh, they're actually going to fake out the B side, so they're going to push into the MG by the looks. Are they going to commit to this? Yep, Rapids has managed to get about halfway in before Mambo shuts him down. Carmelo does take down that second. Juice punishes Mambo for a re-peak as well. So we're now in a 3v2 situation, actually in favour of diversity. PRM taking down Amber as well. Aris with a nade towards the A site. Does it land? It does land. Doesn't connect though. And that's all to do in a 1v3 situation with the bomb down for Aris. He knows where one of the players is. They all know where he is now. Nicely done by diversity. It was a good strat, actually. Ah, thanks, Wheeler. I appreciate that, mate. I wish I could be playing, but never mind. So, is is going to get an early frag on the A cross? He's just waiting. Let's see. Pico chipping in though, taking down Karma instead, so they've really set up heavy for A side of the map. This is where you could almost exploit the MG area a little bit because they're all on the A side of the map, but not really covering the MG too heavily. Only Mambo and his one HP, so he's not gonna be peaking a lot. Here he goes with a peak. He's just going to hold, try and hold an off angle. They need a nice nade to land in the mid bunker. To get him off, I think that's probably what he's taken the damage from already. Here it comes, maybe. No, that's just an air field nade. So they've sort of read the situation a little bit poor here. Nicely done by Pico. 
And uh, diversity have sort of dropped one by one a little bit here. Nice shot by Ares. Takes down Juice. 1v5 now. But I fancy Ares to pick this frag up with a scope. Unless he's going to try and do a rapid. Well. <laughs> Win. Well, <sighs> well, <laughs> eight seven then for diversity. A lot of work to do. Need to pick up this round. Whoever's gonna get a nade into the MG early. Whoever's seen the nade come in. And he's also gonna hold this angle. No, he's not. He's gonna try and aggress onto the A field a little bit here. Does spot ahead! Gets punished. Pico takes him down. Also spotted one towards the broken bomb of A side of the map. Manasek is going to try and aggress this guy as well. Yeah, he spots him out on the left, punishes PRM for not hitting the shot, and takes a nice second frag down onto Jews. Ambic pushing up, takes down uh, Rapids, and it's just Karma in a 1v5. Axis win. Ares is going to take him down. Nice clean sweep by the power retro there. And the scores are now level. Oh, double scope. I think they're either going to try a double up onto the B site or they're going to try double MG. Yeah, they're going to try and double MG now. Ah, Jews gets picked, but Pico doesn't manage to finish him. Oh, Jews, a nice double frag there. Manasek just eventually shut him down, but it is a 3v3. Now, Diversity just need to group up a little bit. Rapid taking down Manasek, but again, the nice. Efficient refrag by Ambic. It's now 2v2. Harris taken down PRM. And Rev is now left in a 1v2. Uh, they don't know where he is though. They don't know where he is. So it's going to be interesting to see if Ambic spots him out. Before Rev manages to push up a little bit. Just... Cautiously making his way across towards the broken bomb. He's on it now. Still hasn't managed to spot out Ambic. Just needs to look to his left a little bit. Yeah. It's not going to happen for him. 50 seconds left on the clock. And he's just not going to spot his head. He needs to push a bit further around. Yeah, push towards that small is There it is. There's the, there's the pixel. Doesn't manage to connect with the shot though. Ambic landing a little bit of damage onto him and he's going to throw a nade for good measure as well. Yeah, it's going to land. Nice. Well played by Aris and by Ambic. Shutting him down, making sure that he doesn't manage to deal any damage. Aris and Manasek really doing some work for poor on this map. Is this going to be the B push? I think it looks like it. Karma heading straight for the inside. Rev is going with him as well, but Pico is going to punish PRM from playing at the big tree. And he's got the info that he needs. And in comes Mambo to help his teammate out. Taking down Rev, Jews going down to Ambic, but Karma's pushed across the low side of the B field. But the numbers certainly favour Power of Retro, but Karma doing his best to bring those numbers down. 
So Ares is going to go towards the spawn. Manasek pushed up aggressive on the small ruins and it's left to Ambic to control the middle of the map. He's heard one stepping around on the B field there. Manasek just going to aggress that little bit more. Just gain that bit more control. They've got a good setup here. And this is going to be where this one all lost. Karma with the third frag of the round taking down Ambic. He knows that they're going to be 1A and 1B. It's just sense. So he gonna have a good idea of where these players are and Ares misses the shot as well to give Karma a little bit of a chance but he's really got a tough ask here to pick anything up Manasek again with the good efficient trading and helping his teammate out 10-8 then for power of retro you'd certainly say they've got to be the favorites to close this map out and take the game Rapids picking up the scope and taking down Manasek. And he spots out the scope as well of Ares. But Ares has got a lot of angles around there. Don't think he managed to land the shot. So it's again, uh, looking like a, more of a B side of the map hit. Karma pushing all the way around. He's going to push all the way around to the left and try and stay out of the line of uh, the big ruins player he is he's managing to get around there has Ares pushed up he has so there's nobody around the big ruins and Karma does spot one out on the top of the B side come on Karma land the shot no he's fluffed it he's got no ammo left but PRM does finally pick up the kill and Karma did spot one out then towards Explosives planted. the cows onto the left side of the field but he didn't see him I don't think so here comes Arias now. Karma's gonna have to. Yeah, he spotted him surely to the left. Oh, you're blind. You're so blind. Mm, this is gonna be bad because Arias is gonna pick up at least one frag here. Now Karma can see him. Nope. He's taken down one. Oh, nicely done by PRM and Rapids to bring the round in favour, but it's now a 1v1. Ambic against you and. Uh, He's going to hold this. Oh my god. Oh, so close for Ambic. <sighs> wow. Close round. Nice early aggression. Takes down Mambo, but Pico from the A field again with the uh, trade. Oh, Rev's going to get nade from the MG as well. He is going to push up though. And he's going to take down Pico. Nicely done by Rev. Good aggression there. Now that's going to turn all the attention from Paul towards the middle of the map. Manasek is definitely looking there. So this is where Diversity needs to make most of this and maybe take down Ambic because if they push him together with a couple of people he's gonna go down Manasek however goes down to Rev nicely done so they split open the map Aris is all the way in the mid bunker and Ambic has pushed up aggressive on the A side of the A trench sorry and here comes the plant can Ambic get the angle to stop the plant coming in no he can't nicely done by Rev what a round by him that's a nice 4k Really good. 10 10. Just as we thought that it was looking like Paul were going to take this map, Diversity are stepping up a little bit here, getting a few rounds on the board. Yeah, Rapids have spotted Ares off the scope. Yeah, 
Harriers winning that scope battle. Takes down Rapids. Mambo though with a bit of nade damage there. Has he got the info? I don't know if he's heard these steps towards B. But Karma's uh, going to make a fast play towards the B site. And here is Arias with the scope. Just trying to defend that B site. This is the part where they need to push round to Arias' right towards the German spawn. Not quite going to manage to get there though. Arias doing a good job of holding off. Rev though, taking down Mambo. Uh, it is a 2v4. You'd fancy Poor to pick up this round. Ambic is the most 1 HP I've ever seen. <laughs> and he's also going to get a frag at least one, possibly two. Axis yep. Nicely done by Ambic to clean up the round. 11 10 then. In favour of Power of Retro. So it's looking a little bit more like an A setup here for diversity. A bit of an A split really. Two towards the MG, three towards the A corner. Karma going down to Manasek. Good start for Power of Retro. Rapids has got an easy shot here. Oh, he's just managed to get the time wrong. I think he tagged him. It's unlucky. That's really unlucky. Poor holding strong here for the middle of the map. Taking down the MGA players. Dambic pushed up a bit close on the A trench. Rapids goes down. Just rev alone in a 1v4. Poor gonna move on to match point. It's looking really shaky now for diversity. Axis win. Yeah, nicely done. Match point and map point then for the power of retro. been a great game actually to watch and really enjoyed watching it. Here we go then. Do Power of Retro close it out or do Diversity Edge just closer to overtime? A fake. That's what it's looking like to me. Power of Retro probably read this though because Ambic's been getting the info required to know that they aren't pushing really around to the A side. Iris is already going to be here with his trusty scope. Land the first shot, but he's going to get a second bite of the cherry. Not hitting that one either. Third shot, not landing either. Rapids does take damage from the fourth, though. He's not mad. Yeah, an angle to take a headshot. Well, now he's fucked. Yep, Lambo goes down, but Rapids manages to take one. There's Aris with the trusty scope. Doing a great job holding the B site down. Karma taking down Ambic, and now it's actually a 2v2. And PRM is moving towards the A side of the map. That's going to be the call. Aris has already got the call for rotation from Pico. So, how does this one go then? Does Pico get sandwiched? He's heard the MG player come through. Oh, God. He's missed the shot. Here comes Karma. Pico taking him down, though. 
1v2 and they know exactly where PRM is. This is going to be GG. It has to be. 20 seconds left on the clock. He's so fucked. Surely he doesn't get the bomb down. Nah. Ares is already there. It's GG. Oh, he's missed the shots! Surely not. Yep, GG. Well played. Well, it was a great game to watch, actually. No 30 bombs, so disappointing. But, yep. Yeah. Good game. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Those of you that did, we'll be another one. 29 viewers. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Why well, are Vink's not playing? Uh, I injured my shoulder, mate. I've got a ligament tear on my AC joint on my shoulder, so I can't really move my left arm. Yep, so that's why I wasn't playing. But yep, it was a good game, and good luck to both Power of Retro and TMO in the final. Uh, it's going to be a good game. If I'm around, I'll maybe cast it, and I'll do my best to get the overlay sorted. But yep, well played, GG's. Thanks everyone for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.